Hello everyone, welcome to Yancy 3 with CVR returning subscriber. Thank you very much for sticking with us. And if this is the first time you are viewing this channel, you are most welcome. You're very important to us. Welcome and thank you very much. Please go ahead and subscribe. Let's grow this family. So today we have to make a frame corner protector for our frame. So here I have with me is a carton, kind of, um, yeah, just a carton paper. So that you can use anything you want. You can use a cardboard sheet or you can use anything that is a bit strong. So for a bigger frame, I'm using this. This is four inches by 2.5. And for a smaller one, I have 2.5 by two inches. So this one can take a frame of between 31 to 36 inches. That is a yard. So, but this one, it's for smaller ones and let's begin. First of all, I'm going to divide this edge into four. Dividing it into four. And here I have four inches. So of course, into four will be one one inch. So yeah, this is into four. One, two, three, four. And from the center one, I'm going up by, let's see, one third of the width. So I'll just go by, um, let me use one inch, one inch, and then this is it. So I'll connect this point to here, this point, connect this to this, and this to this. Here is it. Next thing, I'm cutting it off. That is it. Then I'm going to curve this point. You can do it using freehand or with any curve thing. So, but I'm going to just do mine with freehand. Curve. Then I'll also trim that off. Next thing is this line. It's just let me just call it a line so we are going to connect it upwards to form an inverted v or rather to form a v maybe i see it this is it next thing i will take my tape rule and measure the edge of the frame i want to construct this corner for and here we go Let's say this is a frame. So I will take my tape rule and measure this edge. So this gives me 0 0.75. What I'm going to do is here down, I will mark 0 0.75. Extend it to this point just to be correct. 0 0.75. Seven five. I'll also do the same to this side. Zero point seven five. Zero point seven five. Then I'll take my ruler and mark it out. Can you see this? So, those parts that I marked out, I am going to turn it this way. This one. Do the same thing to this side. So, you can see now. And here we go. <laughs> Very simple. So, for this point, for this part, it's either you use your stapler, preferably stapler. You can use your stapler and staple it down, or you will use your gun. So I am going to use my top bond for this part. Here, 
I don't have um, I, I don't have this normal clip. I'm going to use my peg and hold it down. Then I'll allow it to dry. So you can see. Once it is dry, you also take your gum and apply inside very well. Apply your gum inside very well. Then you put it back to your food. As you can see, this is fitting to this frame because I measured the edge. And that is why it is so you can see it is so fitting to me. So it's very easy to do it like that. Thank you very much for coming around. Please do check back next time. Keep following us. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Ta